D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's, there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Did he leave something? Come on, I can see you over there. Is that a tape player? Did, did he leave you a tape? What's on the tape, Henry? Henry, do you hear me? Would you tell me what's on the tape? Tell me what's on the goddamn tape! going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know.
actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'm not even going to answer that. But you could be lying to me too, you know. I... I'm not. Yeah? I hope not. You know what? Forget I asked. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Yes, yes. Freezing in here. Is anybody down there? Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. He'd hide out here to read comics. The Black Band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he... Honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on? Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. 
Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. something that will kill me so you know just sort of getting myself right with god or whatever there is henry I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now uh, a hatchet god are you sure you want to go back in there honestly i just i just want to know i want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Damn it. Those girls really did a number on you, huh? No, I'm glad they're not dead, but it also means that they weren't a part of what's going on. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You just have to keep searching. Yeah. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. 
It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Delilah, you should have told someone he was out here. Just stop. Okay, I know. Maybe he would have. Henry, you insensitive shit. You don't think I know he'd be alive if it weren't for me? And I fucking know it's my fault. I'll never forget that it's on me. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Oh, well, that's nice. I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. <sighs> Three years. I kept it cozy. 
Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone he's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. 
but I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think... I think that Ned loved him. I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> he? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just... What if we missed something about, uh, something? I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just wait. I'm gonna go. Okay. If you have to. I have to. Hike safe.
Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um... Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? Jeez. Um, well, you should probably put that typewriter to good use. Hey, if you ever decide to write about this, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a sexy accent or something that, you know, would play well in the movie version. Uh, all right. I'll see what I can do. At the very least, it'll keep your mind off things for a while. And get a new bucket. A, a new dog. Uh, hold on. Let me write all this down. Whenever the season's about to wrap up, I usually find myself thinking... And when I get back, I'm gonna call him. You know, casual, and, and just... Just see how he's doing. My ex. That is. I'll say something like, Hey, I had a dream about you this summer and thought I'd call. You know, something that lets him know that I want him without... Without letting him know I want him. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't do that. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. See you when I see you. Yeah, definitely. Bye, Hank.